So today I brought some classmates to answer some questions about Trinity College Dublin that you guys asked me. So we're going to start by saying our names and what are we majoring in and what our course basically. So basically, if you don't know me yet, my name is Mario and I am doing physical sciences at Trinity College Dublin as all, as all of us. So my name is Gala, I'm studying chemical sciences. And my name is Krishna, I'm studying environmental science and engineering. And uh, my name is Marco, and I'm studying engineering in Trinity. Okay, so the first question that we got is, what grades did you need to get accepted? Yeah. So uh, for my specific course, uh, that's engineering, like basic engineering, uh, I needed 569 points. That depending when you're where you're from, like if you're in, if you're from Spain, it's more or less like uh, an average of nine out of ten. It's a it's a high point score, but you could perfectly get it. Yeah, for for my course, I had to get uh, five hundred fifty five points, but because uh, I did A levels, so that would require uh, three A stars in name. So that's what I got, and I got in. For me, it was like five hundred forty four, and I got like five hundred seventy. And for me, well, basically, uh, you could know if you watch my video, but if you didn't, uh, I got four A's, uh, which in the Irish score is five hundred and thirty one points out of six hundred and twenty. And yeah, that's basically the first question. So let's go and continue with the second one, which is what are the pros and cons of studying at Trinity College Dublin? So basically the pros I would say is the fact that we're in a city yeah, that is actually a capital city of, um, of a country. And one of the pros as well is that it's not that big. Like we're talking about Ireland that is only 5 million people that live here. Um, so it's like a big city, but also not that big, which makes it less stressing and yeah, more manageable. Yeah. So uh, I think that being in the center, like compared to other universities in Dublin, being in the center is a huge advantage. Like to, uh, anywhere you have to go, it's close enough. So I think that's the main advantage of studying in Trinity. And I think the, the main disadvantage or con would be probably the weather. The weather's not really the best aspect of Dublin or Ireland in general. But if you are okay with managing with some rain and some cold, you should be all right. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. This is going to be the next one, which is. What's the best thing of standard Trinity? We have said like the pros and cons, but what would be the, what the best thing that we would you say that is at, of studying here? Uh, I think the best thing would probably be like the fact that you get an English education or a, a, an education in English and you're still in the EU, so you still have those benefits of the good tuition fees and the connections with uh, EU universities with the Erasmus program and also yeah. any other international programs. That's also very good. Well, for us, that us for we're Spanish, so I'd say just studying abroad is already an advantage, like gives you an advantage uh, compared to the rest of people that stay in Spain. And uh, studying in a university like Trinity College, uh, that has a lot of name. When you go out into the work world, uh, it gives you a lot of like, I don't know, advantages compared to other people that study in other parts of the world. Yeah, same the opportunity to study English, <laughs> exactly, and to do it in a very international place. Like the university is really, really international. Yeah. Like we're talking, like almost. Like a third, maybe. Well, still a third is a lot. Yeah, but yeah, so we have loads of international people. Like we are basically Spanish, so it's also like adding to the mixture. Okay, so now we're gonna go and answer some questions about teachers. And uh, basically, the questions are along the lines of: Are TCD professors nice? And how are they? What things do we like the most about the teachers? Well, I have to say, like for Krishna and me, uh, we share a lot of the same professors, and uh, I'd say that they're not bad professors, but like. Um, they ha they explain in a way and they uh, tell you things uh, in a way that's really boring. Depends on the teacher, but like mm -hmm. the ones we have in first year, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say they're the best. But I know there is a lot of good teachers out there in Trinity. Uh, the further you go in into into your course, the better teachers you have because they're more specified in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. No, I would agree. Yeah, it's it's mainly because of uh, going from such an international background. You have too many different types of. Uh, ways of doing certain subjects to balance it out. They have a an average standard of teaching, and for the first year it's alright, but then for the for the future years it, it gets better. And as as well as to what I've been told, they get a lot better and a lot more um, a lot more efficient at what they're teaching. For us, they're nice. They're, are they yeah. nice. Yeah, they're, are they're nice? nice. They're nice. I'd say they are pretty good to the world. Like they're, they're not the best, but it's alright. Yeah, they are for pretty good. For chemistry, they're really good, but for yeah. maths, <laughs> the professor for linear algebra is a beast. And, uh, well, I don't know, I, I do like them, like, they are nice, they are not, well, sometimes they put some um, homework that doesn't make much sense with, compared to what we do in class, but it's okay. apart from that, it's fine, so, yeah, that would be the answer. Controversial question, why did we choose TCD over UCD? Um, <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> why would you choose, like, number two over number one? 
Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Basically. 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 Yeah. No more to say. Yeah. It's, it's the first one. It's the best. If you look at the rankings, it's the yeah. first one. We're talking straight facts. Like, you know, yeah. There's like, true. even though UCD is supposed to be like the main one for anything related to sciences and engineering, yeah. uh, Trinity is definitely much better than UCD. And like, let's not talk about the rest. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, simple as that. Now questions about our courses and everything related to that. So first question, are physics and engineering courses in BCD similar? And what would you recommend? So mm. they are doing do engineering. engineering. Do engineering. They are doing engineering. Yeah. We're doing the, like science related. Yeah. 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 I'd say that I thought they were going to be more similar, but uh, especially engineering and physics, but they have like, for the moment, they have nothing to do. like. We have totally different subjects. Uh, like even though on the level as we do the subjects, like obviously both of us, like all of us are doing maths, but the maths and engineering and the maths uh, they're doing, it's pretty different. Uh, in science courses, it's probably a higher level than in engineering. Also, because the amount of people that go into engineering is much more. Uh, like obviously there will be subjects that are similar, but not really. Yeah, the the engineering courses are quite different to the physics or, or sciences courses just because of the basis that they are uh, going off to different careers and different uh, aspects of life where you need more specific, more detail maybe in, in like the physics or science or chemistry courses comparing to the engineering courses in certain aspects. I would say that's probably the main difference. We don't share any classes, mm -hmm. uh, although we have maths and we have uh, chemistry and physics. Yeah. There are different classes, like for example we have mathematics for scientists and you guys have mathematics for engineering. Yeah. So like we are in different classes and different teachers and different um, different courses basically yeah. that we. But like I do chemistry and he does physics, but yeah. we have exactly the same. Same uh, yeah. subjects, modules. And also like in our class we're maximum one hundred. Yeah. And you are. In, in, in our classes it's around three hundred. Yeah. yeah. 300. Okay, so basically the pros and cons of engineering. Uh, you guys engineers. Uh, Okay, so uh, the question specifically says like pros and cons of the engineering that you're studying, that or that we're studying. So first thing I have to say is uh, when you come into Trinity, it's probably very different uh, than the rest of universities around Europe or anywhere else. Okay. Uh, we do two years of general engineering, uh, which is basically doesn't it doesn't uh, mind what engineering you're gonna do, like civil or whatever. Uh, you you're gonna be in the same class as everyone else doing engineering. I think this uh, could be a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. For example, I know what en what engineering I want to do, and uh, I would like to like already be specified in that engineering type uh, and do stuff related to that. So, but it also helps if you don't have your things, your uh, ideas very clear. You don't know what engineering you want to do because there's loads of types. It can help you to choose because you get to see a bit of each type of engineering. Yeah, yeah. For me, I think it would be a benefit because I'm doing environmental science and engineering. So after the two years, I can choose which one I would like to specify. And so it's a good idea to have like a, a general idea of what engineering would entail compared to how environmental science would entail. And it helps me have a good balance and see which one I prefer in the future. And yeah, I think that's mainly the that's the main difference and the main uh, pros and cons that you can find. Yeah. And yeah. Now, this question, none of us does theoretical physics. Yeah, but we know, we know. But we know, like, the question is, what's the difference between theoretical physics and science physics? To be honest, it's similar because to engineering, because we don't do any shared classes, we right? We do, we do. We and optics. Oh, well, that's the only and one. And statistics. Basically, for yeah. physics, I think they do more like science, because you also do, like, chemistry or geology yeah. or something, and they do more, like, maths. Yeah. Oriented yeah, their math is different, right? Yeah. yeah. They yeah. they have class with uh, math students. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have some shared classes, but not that many. No, only okay. one. Yeah. So yeah, it's more focused towards the math uh, aspect, and yeah. So now related to living and residence, uh, there's a question about if we pay for the place that we are living at. Yeah. Uh, sadly, we do pay. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, pay. Hope it wasn't like that, but basically, uh, I am the only one that is not. In a, in a residence that is actually from Trinity College Dublin uh, because I got here a bit late so I'm in a, a private residence that we're actually at right now, we're here. They're all at Trinity Halls uh, which is a bit far away, right? Yeah, but it's a really nice area yeah. Yeah. and we really good and, and there's, a, there's a bus and there's everything to get get to the to the campus quite easily. It's not, it's not out in the outskirts. Yeah. I'd say like uh, if you're coming to Trinity, I would like if you're gonna live in a residence 
I wouldn't even doubt going to Trinity Hollis on first year because like it's everyone there is first year. Uh, even though they could, they can be a bit older than you. It's gonna be first years only or mainly. Like there, there is another second year students. But like if you want to get to know people from your year, get to know people from your course that's gonna be with you in class. It's the best way to meet uh, to meet people. So I would really recommend going to Trinity Hall. And if you don't get it, if you don't get it to Trinity Halls, apply to like Kavanagh or any yeah. other Trinity associated uh, accommodations. That would be the best thing. And just it. apply to Trinity Hall because you don't have to pay anything if you don't get it. Yeah, you don't lose anything if you're lucky. Just you get apply. In, if you think you want to go to Trinity, apply to Trinity Hall. Yeah. Now more general questions about Dublin. Uh, how is Dublin for a student? How is the nightlife? Um, so, like, Dublin is pretty nice for a student, right? Mainly all of us come from, like, more or less big city, and Dublin isn't that big. Uh, and for a new person, like, for uh, anyone that comes into Dublin, as a student that hasn't been here, it's really uh, manageable, like, it's really easy to get everywhere, and uh, nothing's really far that you're going to need. So, I'd say it's a pretty good city to live yeah. Yeah, and uh, the, as a student. Yeah, and the people are quite nice, they're quite friendly, they... If you need any help, if you need any advice, you can always ask anyone and they're, they're happy to help. So that's always a good thing to have in, in, in a city where you don't live. Public transport is not that good. It's better than in the UK. It's way better than in the UK. Obviously, it's not as good yeah. as in Spain because in well, Spain, in Spain like, we have the best transport, I have to say. Yeah, like, it's true. Like, Maria and me, we come from Madrid. Yeah. And Madrid, like, has a really good transport all around the city. And Dublin does lack a bit of that. But the city is so small, like uh, <laughs> that you won't need that yeah. that much transport. Like there's buses that'll take you everywhere, and you have the lowest that'll take you mm, from pretty sure from where you're living to Trinity if you're gonna study there. So uh, it is pretty good. Nightlife, nightlife. Like I've only gone out once, so I don't have that much experience. You guys have gone yeah. out a bit more. Where are the best places to go? Dices. Dices. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but it's. Always like the same music, the same songs. Yeah, I'd say probably uh, it'll be very different, uh, especially if you come from Spain or France or Italy. And mostly anywhere around Europe, it's very different, especially like the times you're be going, you're gonna be going out at, the times you're gonna be coming back home, uh, the music. Like the, obviously, there's any type of music you want in, in different clubs, but like we listen mainly to Spanish music, so we go to like clubs like Dicey's or the Well. Uh, yeah. free yeah. promo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Thank you. Thank you. I say it has good nightlife, but it's very different to what we're used to. Yeah. So. And we only go to like reggaeton places mostly. Yeah, basically. We're we're so. Spanish. So the last question is what advice would we give to future students that are in the coming in the following years? So if you're watching this and you're a future student or interested in studying Trinity, what would we tell you? Uh, well basically what I would say is like it's a really nice place and you have really good buildings and everything is given and the first year is going to be a bit weird uh, the, like the first half is going to be difficult but the second i've been told that it's more chill and more relaxed because you're already uh, into the flow and everything and and it's really good like the second year as well yeah. uh you always have to study and stuff but we can you know get it more or less without burning out too much <laughs> yeah i'd say it's pretty easy like to make yourself to the lit to the life here uh, like uh, it's a pretty like it's pretty similar like most cities in europe nowadays are pretty similar you won't be you won't notice a huge difference between living here and living in another place so uh, i would recommend like just to not doubt it like if you if you're thinking of coming to ireland and it's one of your options definitely come i think it's worth it so I would just recommend get everything in order, get all your whatever documents you need, whatever applications for the be it the, the lead card or the, any student cards or whatnot. Get everything done beforehand if you can. It will save you a lot of time and save you a lot of money instead of paying for taxis and stuff like that. That would be my advice. So, well, uh, I have to say thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, it's been a nice time uh, talking about this stuff. And I hope you guys like found this useful. If you are uh, coming into Trinity in the future years or you're interested, like do let us know in the comments. And yeah, we will be uh, like excited to help you guys and answer any questions. Uh, I'll answer them, but I can also ask you guys. And I'll leave, I'll leave the Instagrams from everyone here in the description down below. That's why we're here. We have to, you know, do some promo. So yeah, basically, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and find it useful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. 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 <laughs>